Plasma 5.24 has been released and as always you might be interested in discovering well, what's new and I might show you that. So the first cool thing is if we go into system settings then we go into the color section and then we choose an accent color, color that is custom like I don't know purple as an example. Well first of all see here in the task manager Dolphin and the system settings both changed color but then if you open like Dolphin, all of the icons are purple, so that's pretty cool. Everything that was blue in the icons will become purple. Cool. Next one is, there is now a ring about around some elements. What elements? So if you open up a window like, I don't know, kickoff as an example, but pretty much any KDE window, and you start tabbing, you can switch between elements. And now to actually let you know that an element is focused by tab, uh, tab Bing, there's now a nice ring um, around it with a nice gradient. I like it and it helps you understand what element is being focused easier. Then critical notification. So as you know, some apps might want to get, give you a message that's very important and you see it. And sometimes inside of all of the notification it gets lost, which is why now uh, important notification have a nice stripe of orange on the left and also in general the notification have been reworked so they're more uh, visible as an example the uh, text here was light gray on light gray so it wasn't readable now it's black and the header is slightly bigger and so on it's a nicer notification Next one is Plasma Pass. So if you use the pass, uh, password manager, then there is this nice applet that actually lets you see all of the password that you stored. Now, there's a bit of an issue. Well, you have to install this, but you also have to understand how pass works. And I don't use pass and I didn't understand how it works. So you can see that there are some passwords and if I click on them, there is this slider going down, which I guess is the amount of time you have to do something. However, I didn't understand what that something was, but if you use the pass password manager, then you know what's going on. Then the audio slider. Here you can see all of the sliders from all of the speakers and you can of course slide them. And you can see that on the left of the sliders, I'm sorry if it's like rendering wrong, I don't know, my computer is a bit messed up right now. On the left, you actually have all of the highlight. Now, if you speak, that highlight is going to be darker. If it's playing audio, it's going to be darker, depending on the volume, which is pretty nice. But, well, now you actually do see the highlight on the left here. Next one. This has been asked a lot. Now, if you go into pictures and you right click on any picture, you can finally just click on set as wallpaper and it will be set as a wallpaper. Let's do as an example, this one. And that's it. It works. Monogatari scene, this one is. So then edit mode. If you go into edit mode with the panel, here there was a button to actually drag and drop the panel anywhere. And now you can just drag and drop from anywhere from this toolbar and that's it. There is no button to drag, you can drag and everywhere, which is nice, it's a bit easier. The KRunner has some improvements, let me bring up KRunner. Now if you search for this, you get all of the runners that explains themselves on how to actually use them. As an example, spell, it says you have to use spell and then the search term, kill and the search term, kate and the search term, or define and the search term, and so on. It's just a bit easier to understand all of the things that happen in KRunner. The new overview effect. Now I've done an entire video about it. It's, uh, let me bring up an application is this one. It's a nice effect and it's not 3D yet, but if you want to use it, it's there for you to use it and you can just bring it up. Uh, I look at my video if you don't know how to actually enable this because it's disabled by default. Still pretty nice effect. Then lastly, fingerprint support. I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, finally my computer will finally support the fingerprint. Uh, kind of, kind of, let me explain this one. Now, the fingerprint support is indeed there as long as, well, you have a fingerprint and your fingerprint reader is uh, supported by the drivers of Linux. Not all fingerprint readers are supported. So you first have to check if there are drivers. 
If your fingerprint reader wasn't working before, it won't magically start to work. The, uh, the only new feature really is the fact that now you can jump into system settings and configure your already working fingerprint reader there. As an example, I do have a fingerprint reader on this computer and it does actually work on GNOME, which is what I've been using for a bit. And uh, in theory, now in system settings, I should be able to configure uh, the fingerprint reader directly from here. But on whether that works or not, well, I'll do another video about that specifically. So stay tuned, subscribe and stuff like that. Finally, the only one that I can't actually show you in my machine because I don't have KDN li Live right now and or any video to render, but now if a notification is about a video, then a preview of the video will be shown. Similarly to how Spectacle also shows preview of the images of the screenshots that you just took. By the way, in Spectacle, since uh, 5.24, uh, you can also have the annotate button directly on the screenshot itself, so you can just click it and it's much easier. It's a bit prettier. We listen to the feedback from latest release. And that was it, except of course it is not. If you go into the Plasma.24 beta for me, but for you in the future, you will actually have all of the announcement ready not the beta, the whole announcement. There's a lot of stuff. Now, I can't go through all of it. These are the things that I choose because they were pretty or significant or easy to actually show you, but there's much, much more as you can see. As an example, I haven't talked about Wayland a lot, but well, it's there and there's a lot of improvements. So if you want to use Wayland, I gotta be honest, I haven't noticed any issue whatsoever in using Wayland in the last month. So if you want to give Wayland a shot, maybe it's the right time. But of course, now it's up to you to decide whether you think it's worth it or not. Maybe you're using, as an example, screen recording and then Pipewire, Pipewire is not yet set up on your system and then you have to use X, as sadly I do, but I will install Pipewire soon. Finally, thank you for all of the people that actually support me and make me able to do these videos. I hope this was interesting. Again, I'll post a link in the description with all of the changelog if you're interested in all of the other stuff. This is just, you know, an official video. So if you want all of the cool promotional uh, content from KE, you know where to find it. And that was it. I do videos every day at this point. So see you tomorrow.